the gun out here. Today I'm doing a short video review of the Fox Trap holster for the Smith & Wesson Shield. I've done other reviews of the Fox holsters before. I have the three of them out here now that I that I have and uh, I've reviewed, like I said, I reviewed these before. You can look them up on my channel. Now I'm going to be very careful in handling this gun because it is loaded. It is my carry gun and I'm going to remove it from the holster and set it aside and talk a little bit more about the holster. So the Fox Trap is a single piece Kydex construction. It's folded over. It is uh, form fitted to your gun obviously and it has these uh, this adjustable clip. Again I went into a lot of details in some of my other reviews. Two things I want to point out um, just to be aware of for the shield, the standard clip that came with the holster did not work out for me. Um, I ended up uh, buying the larger or longer one. You can see where this one is at. Uh, I got the one that was longer because I wanted to go deeper into the pants. It sat too high with the clip as received for me and what I was looking for carry. I guess that's kind of a negative for me. I had to buy another clip, but the clips are not that much. I think it was like six bucks. Um, and I've had that issue as well with, um, I think it was with this holster for the TCP, this Fox holster that I had for the TCP. I had to get a, uh, uh, actually the other way around. It, it sat too deep, so I had to get the short clip. So now I have several different lengths of the clips. Uh, the only other thing on the Fox Trap that I would like to see uh, if they ever redo and come up with a new version is to do an adjustable retention screw. Uh, you can adjust the tension on these. He's got a uh, video um, that you can look at. You know, you heat it up with a heat gun and you re basically reform the Kydex, which I have done on some of my other uh, Fox holsters. I haven't done it on the Shield. It actually fits about perfect out of the box. But I just would prefer something um, easier to adjust rather than having to heat it up. To me, I don't want to have to reform the holster. But again, that being said, I have three of these holsters because I like them so much. I like the thinness of this holster. Uh, the material is very thin. I'm not sure. I forget what thickness Kydex he uses. And it's about as minimalistic as you can get as far as, as a holster for the shield. And I carry at the 430, between the 4 and 5 o'clock position. So I carry it with the clip pretty much canted. Um, so I have a nice uh, cant on it when I'm carrying it that helps hide the butt of the gun better. The reason I like, uh, really like this type of holster is it's an easy on, easy off. Um, so when you're going places that you can't carry, you can just slip it in and slip it off real easy as opposed to some of those double clip uh, hybrid holsters that are very difficult to take on and off uh, when you're on the go. Uh, the other thing I like about the clip is that it is a tuckable clip, so you can tuck your shirt in behind this. So the only thing showing is this portion of the clip, and they do offer a J clip if you don't like that amount of clip showing either. It doesn't look it's not noticeable all on a black belt like my Wilderness Tactical belt, but uh, depending on the belt you're wearing, this might stand out quite a bit. Maybe you want to look at the J-Clip option, and again, they're probably like $6. Holster itself is a really good deal. Holsters run, oh, I want to say this holster is about $45, uh, so it's an excellent value. Um, it's the best thing that I've found as far as uh, thinness and easy on, easy off. Um, just basically no, no frills, does what you need it to do. And uh, I've been, you know, carrying it now with the shield for uh, just probably only a couple of weeks. I haven't had the shield that long yet, but uh, I've been pretty familiar with it, with the one that I have for my Glock 27, which obviously also fits a Glock 26. So I'll go ahead and show you what the holster looks like on, and then um, feel free to add any comments or any questions uh, below after you see this video. I have Thank the, you. Uh, the holster on now, so I thought I would just show what it looks like. Uh, there you can see an inside the waistband fox holster trap on. Uh, easily concealed, obviously, with a big sweater like I have on right now. Uh, it, uh, it fits in there very well. It seals well. Let's go ahead and uh, take the sweater off and show what it looks like with just a t-shirt. This is what it looks like with the t-shirt on tucked. It's a very long t-shirt, so I... It's, uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and tuck it and show what it looks like with the tucked t-shirt since this thing is so long. Okay, I have the t-shirt uh, tucked in now. Uh, it conceals quite well even with just a t-shirt with it tucked in. 
I mean, if you wanted, if, you know, the combination of the Smith & Wesson shield and the Fox trap uh, it hides, hides very, very well. You can see, you know, that's where it was. It has a tuckable type clip so that you can just tuck shirt material on the other side of the clip. The clip is still there, so if you're somebody that carries a gun, you probably might notice that, but most people won't care. Or if you blouse the shirt enough, it kind of hangs over the clip, and then that helps hide the clip as well. So, the uh, Smith & Wesson Shield and the Fox Trap, a great combination. Hope you enjoyed this uh, short video review of the Fox Trap holster for the Shield. Thanks, YouTube.